Well, the northwest of Sydney took the brunt of it and residents are still picking up the pieces. For the second night in a row, a fierce storm thundered in, creating chaos for homeowners and commuters alike. And if the night was bad, the morning wasn't much better. It may not have been as visually spectacular as the previous night's storm, but it certainly did more damage. Lightning strikes and high winds brought down trees and power lines across Sydney's northwest. The SES received more than 300 calls from residents, with those in Cherrybrook and West Lee the hardest hit. The majority of jobs, probably about 60%, were trees down on roads or houses, but then the next most prevalent type of job was leaking roofs, damaged roofs. Crews from southern Sydney were called in to help with the demand. The family in this home spent the night in a hotel after a tree cut a hole in their bathroom. And we saw the tree was broken. Then I started to freak out. SES volunteers say they expect to spend another night rainproofing houses damaged by the storm. The damage wasn't just confined to houses with two people struck by lightning. A postman was knocked from his bike at Ambervale while another man was struck at Engadine. Both were taken to hospital but have since been discharged. And it was a testing night for commuters on a number of Sydney's train lines with storms causing delays of up to four hours. Well, they've got to wait for the trains to start again. We'll wait for my wife to come down and pick me up, which could be another hour. It's going to be probably 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock before I get home. And there was more to come during this morning's peak period after a man was struck and killed by a train, bringing the North Shore line to an abrupt halt for just over an hour. Jane Marie Sedgman, ABC News, Sydney.